seen all my other videos on the best catfish rods I use for rod and reel combos and the best bass fishing reel combos but haven't haven't talked about yet is what I use for bluegill. Now you can see this line's all torn up and stuff. That's because I raged because I got mad at my pole because I got my line stuck in it and I just went crazy on it. That's not a malfunction with this reel at all. It's a perfectly good reel. I love it, but let's get talking about it. Now right off the start, this reel goes around for 30 bucks. What I like about it is that I bike down to a little pond in a neighborhood. It's really good because it collapses and expands very easy. You can see it's a lot skinnier than a bass rod. Um, I love that feature about it. Would not recommend this on using this other than smaller fish like bluegill. And as you can see here, I have a Mr. Crappie reel. It's very nice, the line came with it. And as again, nothing against the reel, I just got mad and started ripping line. And then I have my little hook here, the smallest hook I can possibly find for those bluegill here. Um, we sometimes use them as bait fish, not really. We're, we're really going to get a fish feeder and like try and grow our own fish, like just because no one else knows about it. It's a Shakespeare rod, whole thing. Mr. Crappie rod reel. I believe this was around 15 bucks. The rod was around 14. Um, if you're just gonna be bluegill fishing and all that, not a bad thing to go to. If you're in a neighborhood, if you're a kid like me, I definitely recommend this product. Um, I love it. And this is actually a schedule upload. I'm just saying that now because I'm in Haynes. No, I'm, oh, I don't know. I'm somewhere in Alaska right now when this video is being uploaded. Um, we're shrimping and crabbing and doing a bunch of halibut fishing and all that and these videos will be out soon I believe this one's gonna be scheduled posted for Friday um, Yeah, so subscribe like comment We'll see you next time on double looking outdoors